Hey everyone, this is Will from Wheelbrack Design and today I've got a real treat for you as I found a new product that's available directly in Figma that will save you tons of time when it comes to creating your designs. It is the ultimate Figma UI kit and design system and I'm going to spend a few minutes today just showing you what this kit is, um, everything that's a part of it and then share a link with you so you can go check it out yourself. So you might be wondering what a design system is. A design system is a collection of reusable components guided by clear standards that can be assembled together to build any number of applications. And what that means is, if you look here on the left, we can see all these different pages. For example, colors, typography, logos, icons, MISC icons, and the list goes on. Below that, we've got shared components. These are components that are built from these foundations here. And then it just goes on and on. All these are new that have recently been added, which means you get new versions, as we can see here. This is version 2.8, so the creator of this kit is constantly updating it. We've got marketing website components, so examples built ex specifically for marketing websites. So if you're working on uh, landing pages, things like that, these are the components you can use. We've got application examples, application components. This list is humongous. Keep going down and we could just see it goes on and on. So let's have a look at the foundations first. Oh, actually, before we jump into the foundations, we'll just have a quick look at this Getting Started page. Here you can see just how much detail the author of this kit has gone into um, to explain how it works and the theory behind it, how to install the fonts and typefaces, how to use Untitled UI as a library, how to publish the library, so you can use it in your designs. So when you come to actually create your designs, you're pulling in assets from here, from directly from this library, so that you never have to recreate a thing again. So let's have a look at a few of these foundations. Let's start with colors. Wow, okay, straight away. I mean, there's, there's so much going on here. We can have a look at all the different colors. So let's have a look at this gray color palette here. First of all, first of all we've got the base. So we've got our white and we've got our black. We've also got the accessibility standards here. So this is AAA, which is fantastic. We've then got our greys, a full gray color palette here, going from 25 to 900. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 different colors just for the gray palette. Then we've got our primary color palette. So these are using this kind of lavender purple. You could change this. You could change this to your color. Here we can see the uh, the main color, and these are all the different tones based on it. So you could change this purple to whatever your um, application design needs. So if you want your primary color to be green, you can make this green and it will update it throughout all your designs. So these are your primary colors here. So we've got pr grays, primaries, areas, warnings, success colors. We've also got a load of secondary colors and I mean, there are loads. These are really nicely selected colors with a lot of theory behind them. We've got the accessibility written directly on them so we know how well they'll perform under accessibility tests. We've got all the color codes, so the hex codes. We've got everything we'll ever need. If we go over here, we've got some examples of gradients. I mean, these are really nicely made gradients. We've got some mesh gradients too. Mesh gradients are really popular in design right now. So here are a ton of examples that you can use directly in your product. And then we've got a load of notes and documentation, which I won't go into today, but we've also got links to um, using the color contrast checker. So this is an accessibility tool that's directly in Figma. We've got a link to a Figma tutorial where you can go learn more about creating styles. We've got a link to the create color text effect and layout grids styles as well. So we've got a ton of stuff here. This is fully comprehensive as, as I keep saying. Let's have a look at typography. So this design system is using the font Inter. You could change this to something else, but everything here is what you need to get going. Inter is a really nice font. It's really readable. It's very clear. It looks good too. So we've got a load of logos here. I mean, this kit might be worth getting just for this because getting hold of some of these logos can be quite tricky. But these are perfect logos. 
and if we have a look, they are vectors. So you can resize them to whatever size you want. These will never pixelate, these will always look perfect, and they're all using the correct colors, and they're all correct to that company's standard. Right, icons, icons are always a big thing in design, and this kit has 1,100 plus UI icons. Now you pay a fortune just for this icon pack alone um, from elsewhere, but it comes as part of this kit. This is the Untitled UI Pro kit, and these icons are all included. I mean, we've got stuff for charts, communication, media and devices, alerts, feedback, users. I've gone through to try and catch out and see if there's any icons missing, and I couldn't find any that I would want to use that aren't in this pack. Everything is there. We've also got some MISC icons here. So we've got our checks with our colors, we've got some emojis, we've got some hearts uh, and some stars, even like the partially filled stars. And then we've got all our kind of social icons as well. This is incredibly useful. Those integrations here as well, payment icons. These are really useful when uh, working on e-commerce sites and apps, very useful. Shadows and blurs, so we've got all our different styles here. So extra small up to 3XL on our shadows. And then we've got some really nice blurs as well. And we've got some light blurs and some dark blurs. Grids and spacing is really useful and this has been really well thought out. We can see that not only are we using the pixel system here, we've also got our RAM system and we've got our naming in something really useful here. And we can see just with this visual, the actual spacing. So this is 256 pixels, which we can see here, and it has been visually laid out here. So our containers, everything works based on this spacing and grid system. So if we have a look at the notes and documentation over here, we can see that everything here is following this system. And you can tell it looks great. What else is really useful as part of this um, design system is they've also included some portfolio mockups. So if you want to take some of your designs, you can drop them straight into these portfolio mockups, export them as JPEGs or whatever file you need, and you can put them onto your portfolio. So you can show off your design work. Now, if you search around for portfolio mockups online, you'll see that these cost a fortune for the good ones. The free, there are some free ones, but they tend not to be that great. So having these mockups here in, directly in Figma is a massive time saver. Something else that's incredibly useful with UI, UX and product design is um, design annotations. That's so you can annotate your designs, explain to the developers what you're trying to achieve and, and explain the designs. You can even use these measure and spacing lines here to show exact pixel spacings. Design notes cursors, numeric keys if you need to show how the keyboard shortcuts and the hotkeys work. You've got stuff ready for everything. And like I said, this is part of a library. So when you create this as a library, you can pull it into any Figma design file. You don't have to work in this file. This is just your design system. You can go create a new Figma file, set this as the library, and you can use all of these components. So I'm not going to go through every single one because that will take forever because this um, design system is so huge. But let's just have a look at buttons. Okay, when you think buttons, you think, okay, well, it's just a few components. But actually, when we look at this file, there are so many different buttons. We've got our primary buttons. And if I just press Shift-E on my keyboard, we can see that these are all linked, all these components. And we can tell the components here, they're all linked. So when we come to do our prototypes, all our hover states will work directly within our prototypes with no extra work. So essentially, this has just got everything covered. You can create your apps, websites, really quickly using this system. Or you can modify the system to match your branding and styles, but you've already got the layout set up. You've got all the components ready. You just need to go through and edit your foundations. And everything below this, will be updated because all these components are built from things from the foundation. So if we have a look at this button, for example, if I right click, if I uh, click into this text, we can see it's using the text small medium from 
our typography here. If I click the button itself, we can see that this variant has everything built directly in here, so we can swap out all our stuff here. We don't have to go from manually select a new one. Um, we've got all our different states. We've got icons, and we can do leading or following. Essentially, everything is there for you, ready to go. So we've got some button groups here as well. Let's go have a look at something else. This would be really useful. So when doing mockups, sometimes you want some avatars and you've got to go and either download a load of images and keep adding them from images. But here we've got the avatars directly in the file. And they are really nice, high quality photos. We can see they are really, really high quality photos with nice lighting and well edited. You can use these directly in your designs as avatars or images and there's no extra effort required. These are all ready for you. It would be a big time saver. Pros, progress indicators, showing this because this is something I'm working on currently. Um, so we've got some bars here, we've got some progress circles, lots of stuff. And if I just click into the progress circle here and select this element, we can actually show that we can, whoops, we can resize it. My computer's struggling a little bit right now because I'm recording and doing this, but we can see that we can change that really easily. So that's really cool. Let's have a look at some page examples. So here we've got a login page and just look at the amount of examples that have already been created for us. So we've got loads of default ones with loads of different kind of button orientations using social logins or using default logins. We've got mobile versions and we, which is really useful. You, if you are new to design, you will know, you, or you will shortly find out how much time you have to spend doing a web version, maybe a tablet version and a mobile version. So having these already built for you is a huge time saver. And just having a look at these, if we have a close look, we can see how well they are designed. The designer that created this um, design system really knows their stuff. They've done the spacing perfectly, they've left loads of white space, and they've used really nice premium graphics. And we can see their mobile version is not just a squashed down version of the web. It is a custom version built specifically for mobile, and it's pretty stunning, really impressive. All of these again, using all the components above. So if we came in here and selected this input, for example, um, go to the sign up and we can choose, we can tweak all these different settings here. What else have we got? Let's go have a look at something else. Let's have a look at some 404 pages. So again, the assets used are just really nice. But this huge bold text, nice, nice subtext, and a search is really nicely laid out with tons of white space. You could change this image to match your branding. You could change the copy easily. You can even change the color of the buttons. You can change, you can go through and remove any radiuses so we can adjust the uh, styles. I'd actually recommend doing that on the buttons so it changes it everywhere globally, but you could do it here as well. So everything, everything in this design system is editable and ready to go. So here we've got some marketing page examples and here we've got some contact pages. Everything can be changed. You can move all your stuff around. So maybe you want this message above the phone number. So we can go in and do that. Um, so you could either detach it as a symbol or you could come in and modify thoroughly. What else have we got? I mean, I keep saying this, but there's just so much. There's so much, so much work has gone into this. So we've got social proof sections. These are always useful. If you're using on a website for a company that's trying to get um, proof that they are 
um, a real company. You can put these logos in, obviously with the permission of the company. Um, if you mention in the press, you could like add their logos and then create a section and everything is ready to go here. Let's have a look at a footer because footers are useful. I mean, there are a ton of footer examples in here. Again, a mobile version for every single one as well. And just really nicely laid out our dashboards. Everyone loves a dashboard. You get to see some really nice graphs. And we've got access to all these graphs as well. So if we just click into this one here, have a look under content, have a look at this pie chart. And then if we go to the main component, we can see, wow, there's loads of pie charts here. We've got activity gauges, line and bar charts. I mean, they've provided everything you'll ever need. Okay, so let's just have a look at a couple more things and then we'll we'll leave the video there. So we've got some date pickers. These are really nice. I did a tutorial on how to build a date picker. Um, but if you don't have time to build your own, there's a load here. Or you can customize these to match your design and branding. Um, they're all built from uh, molecular components. So these are used to build this component. So if you change this here, it will update it everywhere, which is awesome. Um, empty states really useful, often forgotten. Empty states are really useful in designs. Yeah, so as we can see, as a overall summary, there's just so much stuff as part of this design system. Uh, and again, that's the ultimate Figma UI kit and design system. The link is below in the description. Please go check it out. There is a free version. This is the pro version. I would highly recommend getting the pro version just because value for money. This is something that will last you a lifetime. It's got everything you'll ever need. And we can see from up here, they are constantly updating it. So this is version 2.8. I don't think they've got any plans to slow down on updating this design system at any point. Um, and it works directly in Figma. So what more can you want? Really appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully you watched it to the end. And please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this design system. Have you found any better? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. It always helps my channel grow and reach more of you. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.